Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss well, basically what the triangular inequality is and look at uh, basically a proof and il illustration of it. Basically the triangular inequality just states if A and B are real numbers here, then you'll have this uh, inequality absolute value of A plus B is less than or equal to the absolute value of A plus the absolute value of B. And this one, here's a little image of it, why it's called triangular inequality. If you have this, these sides x and y, the bottom side z, when it's something like this, is clearly less than x plus y. This is the way it look, looks like right here. But then as you make this, like uh, as you make, make the triangle thinner uh, and, and not as tall, as you can see, this z is basically becomes a, around x plus y here. That's basically what this triangular inequality, that's where, why it's called like that. And uh, so this way of, of seeing this one, but you could also see that if, uh, if basically in this case here, if, yeah, I'll just write the triangle inequality here, but basically if A and B, let's say if A is greater than zero and B is greater than zero, then, then A plus B will just equal to, an absolute value of A plus B is just equal to A plus B here, because they're both po positive, and then this one just equals to, well, absolute value of A, plus absolute value of B because these this one just equals to A, this equals to B. So when you have it greater than zero, it's uh, it's it's easy to see why it's true. If A is less than zero and B is less than zero, then you're basically gonna have, in this case, absolute value, yeah, the absolute value of A plus B here. This will be negative inside. They're still gonna add up, but then this will also equal to basically a plus b here because you're taking the absolute value. I mean a negative a plus b because this one, is, this is less than zero. This makes it now greater than zero by putting a negative here. And this also equals to basically a plus b because they're just the, the signs are the same. So the, the sum is going to be the same here. So absolute value, this one would equal. But the only problem is when it's different uh, signs, if you have a is greater than zero, b is less than zero, or up. Uh, yeah, or a is less than zero, b is greater than zero, then you're gonna have a subtraction in here. So this a plus b inside here, this one you're gonna have something in subtraction. Let's say if a is equal to negative two, b is equal to, let's say three, where this one's greater than zero, this is less than zero, then a plus b is equal to, well, one. And this is less than the absolute value, if you were, to, if these were both the same signs, it would be five, so this is, less than five here, and, and as you can see, this would be less than absolute value of negative two plus three, and this one would be, well, two plus three equals five. So it's, so this is a, just a way that it's reasonable, but now I'll show you another proof of this, a bit more concrete. So first thing you should notice is that just the number A, it's a real number, so this one is gonna be less than equal to the absolute value of A, because this could be plus or minus, uh, it could be negative or, or whatnot, and it's gonna be, greater than equal to the absolute value uh, or the negative of absolute value of a. For example, if you had, let's say a is equal to, well, plus or minus two, because you could be either one. So plus or minus two is going to be less than equal to absolute value of, of two, of plus or minus two, which is just two. And this one just equals to two and it's greater than equal to negative absolute value plus or minus two. And this equals to, well, negative two. So basically, a two could be plus. This is just another way of saying a is equal to plus or minus uh, a here, or the absolute value of it. So just plus or minus two is equal to either two or negative two. So that's why you could write this. And also, uh, similarly with the b, the exact same thing as above, negative b at negative absolute value of b is less than just b here, because this could be negative or positive, and then less than greater than absolute value of b here. So we have th these two inequalities here, one and two. If we add these up, so we just add the left sides together because uh, we could, yeah, we could do that. It's pretty straightforward. So negative absolute value of a, this is going to be plus b absolute value. So we're just adding them up. Less than equal to a plus b is less than equal to well a absolute value of a plus absolute value of b. Okay, so now uh, before I get to the proof of this one, so we, once we have this little inequality here, and also, so we have to recall from my earlier video on properties and rules of absolute values here, basically, if A is just a number greater than zero, then by property five, which I showed, absolute value of X is equal to A if X is equal to plus or minus A here, and that's pretty obvious here. So it's the only way this is equal is if this is equal to A and negative or positive, because you're just gonna take absolute value and it has to equal A. And also property six, X is less than A if 
uh, x is in between a and negative a here. So the then the absolute value will be less than a here. So using these uh, properties here, but we're gonna let let's say let a is equal to yeah. So let let a equals to absolute value of a plus absolute value of b. This is just this is just for this notation here. So this is uh, this is nothing to do with actually equaling it because this is this can't be equal to that if b is not. But so basically we're just gonna replace. Yeah, or I'll just write it better. Replace a with absolute value of a plus b, and also replace x with this one's going to be a plus b here. So when we do this, we'll see that the inequality, triangle inequality, has to be true here. So we'll just uh, put these in there. So we're going to get absolute value of a plus b is less than, it's equal to absolute value of a plus b is equal to, well, a, which is absolute value of a plus absolute value of b, if. So this is only if a plus b is equal to, yeah, a plus b is equal to, this is, this is one is x, remember, plus or minus a, or the new rule we replace it with absolute value of a plus absolute value of b here, so plus or minus of that. And also by the property 6 now, we're going to have absolute value of b, yes, yeah, so absolute value of a plus b is less than these absolute values if, Basically, uh, a and b is between absolute value of a plus b and the negative of that. And as you can see here, remember, this is one that's just x, this is just a, this one's just going to be negative a here. So this is just by using the property, and also in this case here, this is just a, so this is plus or minus a, and this one is just x here. So this is all we're doing is plugging that in, and as you can see, this is true based, based on this one here. So we'll write that down here. Yeah, so this is that uh, inequality we derived above. So as you can see from here, uh, th these both of these are true. So if a and b is equal to plus or minus, that's where this uh, this equal sign is because this a and b can equal to the plus or minus. And then we'll have this case where a and b is either less than it, so we we could be less than that. So then the property five and six apply. So what that means is now this is true here. So we'll have this is true, and property uh, five is true. Thus, uh, when, you, when you look at them, we just combine them, so this is less than, this is equal to, so it could be less than or equal to, so we'll just put a plus b less than equal to absolute value of a plus absolute value of b. So this was just a more concrete proof, but uh, you can see it visually from that either that triangle picture or just adding in uh, opposite si signs in a and b, and you'll see it. Okay, so now if we look at an example here, just to illustrate it, basically, if you have this, if you were given absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 0.1, and absolute value of y minus 7 yeah, is less than 0.2, then if you're asked to use it, triangle inequality to estimate this value here, x plus y is uh, less, uh, minus 11, uh, then uh, the way to do this, well, this one, as you can see, this is just the addition of these two. So if we let a is equal to x, I mean, yeah, just a is equal to x minus 4 and b is equal to y minus 7 here. Then th This one is just the addition of these two. So we'll have, basically, in this case, a plus b is equal to x minus 4 plus y minus 7. And this one just equals 2. Well, these the, the 4 and 7 becomes 11 and x plus y. So we'll have x plus y minus 11 here. So that's all it equals to. Then number by triangle inequality has to be less than equal to a plus absolute value of b, and this equals to basically x minus four plus x minus y. So I mean y minus uh, seven. I mean, yes, yeah, so we'll have this one here. So remember, this is by triangle inequality. That's where we have this a plus b, and then this one, uh, these values here has to be less than or equal to well point one plus point, I'm just less than, not equal to, because of what we're given. So point 0.1 and then point 0.2 here. And then basically, yeah, so w what we're gonna get is just gonna be less than point 0.3 here. So that's our answer here. Yeah, and basically our answer is just this this uh, value here, which is addition of the a and b, or x minus four, uh, y minus seven uh, absolute values. This one is just gonna be less than point 0.3 here, so that's our answer. Well, uh, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned about uh, these triangle inequalities here, and. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit abstract, but it, it's uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty straightforward, I think. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.